everyone. I'm super excited for this video because today we are focusing on two factors that determine how long your hair can actually be. We talk about hair growth all the time and scalp stimulation and all the wonderful things, but what determines if your hair is going to be armpit length or a bra strap or a waist length, you know? What determines that and how can we make that work in our favor so that we can potentially get the growth that we want or I should say the lengths that we want. So stay tuned. Okay, so when it comes to elongating the length of our hair, that is such a tongue twister. But basically, let's start with the basics. You want to have a regimen that works, a regimen that you can be consistent with because that's really going to be the core of getting the length that you desire or elongating your length, okay? So that's number one. Now, for the meat of this video, we are gonna be focusing on the antigen phase. Now, currently, right now, your hair, on your scalp is going through different types of cycles as we speak. Your hair is either in the antigen cycle, the catagen cycle, or the telogen cycle. The antigen is the active growth phase where your hair is literally growing from your scalp. The catagen phase is where the hair follicle has just detached itself from the blood vessel, so it's no longer receiving any type of nutrients. That's considered the resting phase. And then the telogen phase is the shedding phase. But for this video, what we really are trying to do is increase our antigen phase. Like I said, the antigen phase is the active growth phase. The antigen phase, or I should say the length of the antigen phase, determines how long your hair will be. On average, the antigen phase is between three to five years. That's just on average. This number varies based off of each individual. And actually, research has shown that those who are from Asian descent, they have a longer antigen phase of seven years. So they can grow their hair super, super long because their antigen phase is crazy long. But in our case, how can we increase our antigen phase? Because if we can increase the antigen cycle of our hair, that means we can achieve longer length. So with that being said, of course, some great actives that you probably know I'm gonna say are essential oils. You know, there have been some that have been proven to help to elongate um, the antigen phase, such as peppermint oil, rosemary, and I believe eucalyptus as well. And it's so funny because my next video, I'm gonna be talking about some other ingredients, other things that you can do that's gonna help to elongate the antigen phase. So if you are not subscribed, if notifications are not on, you're gonna wanna make sure they are on because it's gonna be super, super good. So don't miss that video. But um, those are some things you wanna look at. Now the next factor that can determine the length of your hair is your maintenance. Your daily maintenance of your hair is going to determine if you can actually grow your hair that long. Your regimen right now should be set up in such a way that it is helping you to retain as much length as possible. So the number one thing I will say that will hinder the elongated length that you may want is breakage. And you can get breakage, as you guys know, from dryness, from a lack of protein, from damaged hair, high fatigue. These are the things you want to be very mindful of when it comes to creating your regimen so that you are able to avoid these potential downfalls. Because you can have an antigen phase of five years, but if you're constantly you know, manipulating your hair, your hair is just breaking off, you're not going to be able to see all that wonderful length of five years because your hair is breaking off as soon as it's growing out. You know, So you want to make sure that you stay on top of your regimen and just change around what isn't working. For me personally, I pre-poo, I shampoo, I condition, I put my leave-on on, my leave-on on, my leave-in in, <laughs> and then I moisturize my hair at least, really every two days I moisturize my hair. That's like the core of my regimen. You have stylers like gels and pomades, but the core of your regimen is gonna be those key, key products because that's gonna help with the maintenance of your hair. Now, what you do when it comes to styling, that's a whole nother story because you can definitely, you know, enter manipulation into your hair and your regimen by braiding too tight, using too much heat, you know, combing your hair too often. All of that definitely plays a role, of course, but you wanna be very mindful of just what you do on a daily basis because that can definitely affect not the antigen phase, but just how long your hair grows. And you wanna get as much length as you can, or I should say as much length as your antigen phase offers you, you know? Okay, so with all that being said, these are my top five tips in regards to length retention. Okay, number one, moisturize your hair multiple times a week, okay? It is okay. 
it's rare to find a moisturizer that you use on Monday that lasts you until Saturday. If you find one, girl, let me know, okay? Let me know. But moisturize your hair multiple times a week. Like I said, I moisturize my hair at least once every two days because that's what I need to do, okay? <laughs> Number two, I will say only use protein treatments if you really need it, you know? And if you feel like your hair absolutely needs it, you had a chemical treatment, you know, you see some damage going on, you know your hair is kind of mushy when it's wet, only use protein when you need it. Number three, do not comb your hair when you are mad, tired, or in a rush, okay? Because you don't need to be rushing through that stuff to get through it, just take your time. TLC, tender loving hair on your hair, okay? Take your time when you comb your hair to avoid breakage. Number four, be consistent with your regimen. If something's not working, just change it out. Look for a new conditioner, a new shampoo, a new hair oil, whatever it is, but just stay consistent with your regimen and make necessary changes as needed. And number five, which happens to be my favorite tip of all, focus on quality over quantity. You weren't expecting that, were you? Quality is always better than quantity. I promise you, when you focus on the health of your hair, the quality of your hair, ladies and guys who watch my videos, uh, the length will come. The length will come, but focus on quality over quantity, all right? All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new. Be sure to subscribe, which notifications are on, because my next video, I'm going deep into the hair growth actives and the hair growth aids, but I'm looking at some really peculiar ones that people have been talking about. So I'll be breaking that down, looking at the science of that, and sharing with some things that you can probably be doing to increase your antigen phase. All right, so stay tuned for that. And I have a question for you, of course, which happens to be, what are some things that has helped you retain your length? Maybe you started off at ear length, but now you are a shoulder length, or now you're at armpit length, or wherever you are. What has helped you the most? Share below, and I look forward to joining the conversation with you. Be sure to check out the Curly Girl's Guide to Hair Care and Greens if you have not done so already. I have a link below for you to check out. And if you're starting a hair care line, you can work with me one-on-one, -on -one, and I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.